Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Send me, send me this Army Seal. And I know I've got this already done somewhere, but that I could help him, but he's got several to do. He actually got it on a website that said it was anybody from, it was usable. Uh, I've, I've seen some websites where they say you could use it and not use it, but whatever. It's, you know, use it at your discretion. And so I've broken it apart. And if you get rid of the white, it's, this is a different animal. So let's just get rid of the white and just show you what I mean. Go to find and replace, uh, find object, edit query. Uh, I've done several videos of this, uniform fill, get the eyedropper tool. And as you can see, like he said, it's CMYK. And then find all. It's gonna take you a second because there's so much. And then if you hit delete, it takes away a lot of the graphics, a lot of the inside parts. And it could be, you could manage it, but the stars are actually white. And if we take this here, it's actually a white star. And, and you could work around this, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna engrave it. So what we could do is go back and just find all. And if you remember they were CMYK, we can just right click white on my RGB. And now if we take the color eyedropper tool, now the colors are white. And most engravers, including mine, which is an epilogue, it will not engrave that white. So you're out of the woods. But some of the black is not black. It, well, it's, a, it's the CMYK black if you look here. So what we can do, we can uh, edit the query. We can actually go to fill and see if there's any black fill. Take the eyedropper tool and surely there's a black fill in that letter, which is, it's already an RGB. But see, these circles are not, and the outline's not. I don't know that this is that important, but you could find all, and then uh, left-click, now they're RGBs, because my color palette is RGB. A lot of people are gonna, well, that's actually, says it's now we gotta do some outlines and make the outline, and you could search for outlines. But there's really, uh, maybe somebody more professional than, uh, you know, people that do this for a living that, that trace this could get rid of the white, but I don't think it's gonna engrave. The only thing, I did take it out of the shop and just see and make sure it would not engrave, and on my laser, it did not engrave. The only thing it left out some detail because I'm a little bit confused with these little lines right here that are only 0 0.12 points and they're also CMYK. So you might have to go through there and make them, you know, if we make, I know 0.25 will not, uh, 0 0.25, it makes it quite a bit thicker. So you, you need to kind of go through here and make sure every line is, you know, and I would test this on a piece of wood and then find out what didn't engrave. These ropes did not engrave on my engraver. Uh, you know, because I think they're hairlines. See, that's point, that should engrave, I would think, but it's also CMYK. So you'd maybe have to take all the outlines and right click and make it CMYK, uh, RGB and uh, and just go with that. Some of these inner lines don't look like they're going to engrave. You know, let me get rid of the yellow. It's not doing us any good. Uh, whenever you click off, you're still going to get the yellow unless you lock it. So let's click off of it and get right there. See, that's a hairline. That's not going to engrave. So you're going to have to... And there's a way to find hairlines and find and replace. But you could just up this up to... Let's see how thick it looks. And that doesn't look bad. You're just gonna have to go through there and find the hairlines. The ones that don't engrave, engrave it, engrave it on a blank piece of wood, you know, the, about the same size, because you, if you remember, 
when you expand in, in uh, stuff or reduce stuff, it gets, if you didn't, if they didn't set the lines to scale with object, it's going to get smaller. Now his question, one of his other questions was, how is he going to cut it out with all those vectors in it? Well, let's say it's in the top corner of your item. Well, it's a three inch circle. I mean, this is a three inch circle. Two ways you could do it, select it and put a boundary around it. And then you've got that three inch circle and that's going to cut out. And also if you wanted a little bit of wood on top of it, you could go to effects and contour, wing contour the outside, just like point one to the outside and put a little bit, maybe a little bit less contour than that. Go up to object, break contour apart. I would make it red just so you'll know it is a cut line and then move it over and you've got that much wood and that might be too much, might be perfect. I don't know for the person. And then the way I do stuff is I'm going to set my nudge factor on uh, four inches and I'm going to take this vector line out of the way and I'm going to engrave this job without a combo, okay? And then I'm gonna group this together, control G, and I'm gonna get it up out of the way, and then I'm gonna nudge this back. Now I saw it move. You ever see that? Make sure you, you click back. And then run a vector job and cut that out. And then it won't, because there are some vector lines in here that we might miss. Uh, he even mentioned some of the, the lines are all, well, let's just do it. Let's take this guy apart. I hope I'm not going too fast. Let's in, uh, take it all apart. And I'm going to show you that there's some other lines behind here. Like right there. Uh, you don't know what they're made out of. Well, they're a hairline. It says right there that these are hairlines with fill in them. Uh, there's a lot of lines like that behind the scenes that you might not ever, like right there, you didn't see that. It's, it's a little bit bigger point, but if you break all this apart, look at the lines that are back in there. You know, whoever drew it, did a great job. I'm not doubting them or saying anything about it, but uh, they did, uh, there's a lot of hairlines. So these tassels on the rope, root, rope, you know, the, these stars are so little, this is so little that this might burn away. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.